He is the most liberal candidate that the Democratic Party has ever nominated in the state of Florida by a country mile in a governor's race. Um, he wants to abolish ICE. Uh, he wants a billion dollar tax increase. He wants a single payer health care system in Florida, which would bankrupt the state. Uh, I'm trying to make Florida even better. He wants to make Florida Venezuela. We've got to get out there and bring all the people that we can to our side. We've got to do that, y'all, not by being hateful, not by being derisive or divisive, but by reminding Florida of who we are. Welcome back, Congressman Ron DeSantis, wasting no time attacking his Democratic opponent after handily winning the Republican nomination for governor. DeSantis now takes on progressive Democrat Andrew Gillum in November. Tallahassee's mayor is scoring a big upset after a Bernie Sanders endorsement. The race testing President Trump's power in the critical swing state, which he won back in 2016. Congressman Ron DeSantis joins us live now after the big night. Congressman, how are you feeling this morning? We're feeling great. You know, we ran a good campaign. I thought we were going to have a good night, and it's gratifying to win a big victory. And, and it was a victory that had big margins in all parts of the state. I mean, we won almost 70 percent in Miami-Dade County, but also won, you know, over 60 percent in Pensacola. So it was really coast to coast, the whole stretch of Florida. And that gives us a lot of momentum now going into the general election. Well, it wasn't too long ago that your opponent was leading in the polls, and then you got the endorsement of the president. You had that Fox debate. Then you started taking over as the front runner. And then last night we saw such a decisive win. It wasn't even close. Why? Well, I think it's a number of things. Uh, you know, I really believe that if, if people knew that I was an Iraq veteran, that I had a record of principled conservative leadership, and that the president was supporting me, that that would have been the profile that they would want to nominate uh, as their candidate for governor. And so we drilled those three things over and over. Obviously, when you have an opportunity to debate on Fox News, which when we polled after the debate, a huge percentage of our primary voters watched that debate. Uh, so that allowed people mm. to really size us up. So I think the combination of the president doing the tweet on June 22nd, uh, the debate on Fox, and then us finally starting to, to spend money on television advertising. Because when I was down, you know, I had had like $12 million dumped on me. I didn't spend any money yet. So we started to do that, and we just really hit our stride. You know, the, the president this morning uh, tweeted this out. Not only did Congressman Ron DeSantis easily win the Republican primary, but his opponent in November is his biggest dream, a failed socialist mayor named Andrew Gillum, who has allowed crime and many other problems to flourish in his city. This is not what Florida wants or needs. How do you plan to beat him? Well, look, I mean, this is uh, Florida elections are always competitive. And, um, you know, this is a guy who, although he's much too, too liberal for Florida, I think he's got huge problems with how he's governed Tallahassee. Uh, you know, he is an articulate spokesman for those far left views, and he's a charismatic candidate. And, you know, I watched those Democrat debates. None of that was, was my cup of tea. But, I mean, he performed better than the other people there. So, so we've got to work hard to make sure that we continue Florida going in a good direction. Let's build off the success we've had on Governor Scott. The last thing we need to do is to monkey this up by trying to embrace a socialist agenda with huge tax increases and bankrupting the state. That is not going to work. That's not going to be good for Florida. Uh, so I'm going to fight uh, for what I believe in because I think I'm the guy who can really lead Florida in a good direction. Well, Gillum had a strong come from behind win. So to what do you attribute the momentum that he suddenly saw? Well, look, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I got almost twice as many votes as he did. I got close to a million. He got 500,000 in that range. And so, you know, he did do momentum, but you, know, you had the vast majority of Democratic primary voters rejected him uh, last night. And so he's got a lot of work to do just to get his party on board. Um, but look, I think that he, ha he had grassroots energy. I think some of the other candidates were overrated, um, and he was able to capitalize off that. But, you know, there's a difference between, you know, getting some of the Bernie Sanders people to vote for you in a primary and then going to the broader Florida electorate and trying to sell that message. I don't think it's going to sell. I don't think that dog will hunt in Florida, and that's why I think we're going to end up being successful. Well, you saw the president's tweet this morning. Last night, after your win, he sent out such a fantastic win for DeSantis and the people of the great state of Florida. Ron will be fantastic governor on to November. Clearly, we, see, we saw how the president's endorsement played out for you in this race. How do you think he plays out for, for, for the rest of the country, for your party, come November? 
Look, I think that we have a lot of good things going. I mean, you know, you just showed the GDP 4.2 percent, unemployment's at a 20-year low. We have Neil Gorsuch on the court. We have Kavanaugh that's going to be put on the court. We have tax cuts. We've had uh, cutting of red tape and regulations. Uh, we have the Iran deal and the dustbin of history. The embassy is now in Jerusalem from Tel Aviv. So those are concrete achievements. And I think that when voters look, do they really want to gamble on a Democratic Party that's gone so far to the left? Um, you know, saying you're going to impeach Trump and abolish ICE, I understand how that may appeal to a small segment of your party, but that is not what the broader American public is looking for out of people running for either governor in a state like Florida or for the Congress and the Senate nationally. Well, we have reached out to your now opponent for November. Uh, we're trying to reach out to Andrew Gillum, and we welcome him to come on the program as well. Ron DeSantis, great to have you on the morning after your big victory. Thank you for coming on the program, and congratulations. Thank you.